Legal marijuana now is a political third party in the United States established in 1998 to oppose drug prohibition. The party shares many of the progressive values of the Farmer Labor Party but with an emphasis on marijuana, hemp legalization issues. The Legal Marijuana Now Party is an offshoot of the Grassroots Party, and the organization traces their roots to the Youth International Party of the 1960s. Legal Marijuana Now is active in the U.S. states of Iowa, Minnesota, Nebraska, New Jersey, and Wisconsin. A primary goal of the Legal Marijuana Now Party, aside from getting pro cannabis candidates into office, is to increase voter turnout in elections. Legal Marijuana Now is a social democratic party that is anti war, pro labor, and supports the rights of all minority groups. The Legal Marijuana Now Party promotes wise environmental stewardship and denounces corporate personhood. Platform Topic: United States Bill of Rights. The permanent platform of the Legal Marijuana Now Party is the Bill of Rights. All Legal Marijuana Now candidates would end marijuana hemp prohibition, thus re-legalizing cannabis for all its uses. Topic: Social Democracy. The Legal Marijuana Now Party is a grassroots group that derives their strength from the people. Legal Marijuana Now Party is pro-labor and anti-war. Prohibition endangers public safety by fostering corruption, curtailing civil liberties, and perpetuating racism. The Legal Marijuana Now Party believes legalization would bring more jobs and money into the economy. Topic: <laughs> Ecological Democracy. The hemp plant provides multiple durable goods such as rope, fabric, industrial oil, and biofuel. Cannabis itself is food and medicine. According to Mark Elworth Jr., the Legal Marijuana Now Party candidate for vice president in 2016, let's let farmers produce environmentally friendly hemp again. Topic: <laughs> Mascot Topic. Cannabis leaf The official mascot of the Legal Marijuana Now Party is the Cannabis Leaf. Marvelous Cannabis Leaf is a personification of the mascot that was first drawn as part of the cartoon, Marijuana Legalization in Minnesota is Not Inevitable, on April 20, 2015, by artist and stand up comedian Andy Schuler. Panda A panda wearing a cannabis leaf shirt is an alternate mascot of the Legal Marijuana Now Party. Logo The party logo consists of a raised fist, superimposed with the cannabis leaf mascot and the name of the party, Legal Marijuana Now. Topic. Colors Legal Marijuana Now Party official colors are the Rastafari colors, green, gold, and red, and sometimes black. The colors are from the flag of Ethiopia and are also the colors of the Youth International Party flag. Alternate colors for the Legal Marijuana Now Party are a rainbow flag, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet, representing inclusiveness. An alternate Legal Marijuana Now Party colors are red, white, and blue, representing the flag of the United States. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Banner. The official banner is the name of the party in white lettering on an emerald green background. The letter O in the word Now on the banner is interwoven with a cannabis leaf. Name The Yippies took ownership of the word marijuana. And during the 1960s and 1970s era of flower power it was turned into a fighting word representing strength and solidarity. The name of the party is from the popular chant, 
What do we want? Legal marijuana. When do we want it? Now. Floyd Olson's Minnesota branch of the Farmer Labor Party provided the inspiration to name legal marijuana now so that the message is clear and easy to understand. Ideology The Legal Marijuana Now Party Pledge Legalize homegrown cannabis Erase past marijuana convictions Ban employment drug testing Abolish the Drug Enforcement Administration Topic. Philosophy of the Legal Marijuana Now Party The Legal Marijuana Now Party philosophy is from the Bible. The Book of Revelation states the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations." In a speech to the St. Paul branch of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People in October 2014, legal marijuana now candidate for Attorney General of Minnesota, Dan Vacek, said, like alcohol prohibition, drug prohibition must be repealed and replaced by regulation, education, and moderation. When we take that step, we take the first step toward healing our nation. Topic. Structure and composition Topic. Movement Grassroots organizations are associated with bottom-up rather than top-down decision-making. The Legal Marijuana Now Party seeks to engage ordinary people in political discourse to the greatest extent possible. Topic. Leadership All decisions on important organizational and financial subjects must be reached by a leadership head council, which consists of legal marijuana now party members with at least three consecutive years participation in the party and officers elected by the members at an annual convention held in January. Topic. State and local chapters Legal Marijuana Now Party has state chapters in Iowa, Minnesota, Nebraska, New Jersey, and Wisconsin. And congressional district chapters in St. Paul and Omaha. U.S. <laughs> presidential candidates In 2016, Legal Marijuana Now placed their presidential candidates on the ballot in two states, Iowa and Minnesota and as a write-in candidate nationwide. Topic. Legal Marijuana Now Party results in presidential elections Topic. History Topic. Early history The Youth International Party, formed in 1967 to advance the counterculture of the 1960s, often ran candidates for public office. The Yippie flag is a five-pointed star superimposed with a cannabis leaf. The Grassroots Party was founded in Minnesota in 1986 and ran numerous candidates for state and federal offices. The party was active in Iowa, Minnesota, and Vermont. Grassroots Party ran candidates in every presidential election from 1988 to 2000. In 1996 the Minnesota Grassroots Party split, forming the Independent Grassroots Party for one election cycle. John Bierenbach was the Independent Grassroots presidential candidate and George McMahon was the vice presidential candidate. Dan Vacek was the Independent Grassroots candidate for United States Representative, District 4, in 1996. In 1998, members of the Independent Grassroots Party formed the Legal Marijuana Now Political Party. Topic: 1998 election results in Minnesota. Topic: 
Iowa history Iowa Legal Marijuana Now Party placed their presidential candidates on the 2016 ballot by petitioning the state. If the party receives 2% of the vote in a statewide race they can claim minor party access in Iowa. Legal Marijuana Now Iowa is organizing a petition drive to put candidates onto the ballot in 2020. Minnesota history According to Legal Marijuana Now Minnesota, the right to grow a garden is protected by the Minnesota Constitution. Minnesota does not allow voters to petition to put the law itself onto the ballot for a vote. The only petition the people can use in Minnesota is to nominate independent and third party candidates for office. In Minnesota, there is a two week petitioning period in May. If there is a special election meanwhile, the petitioning window for a special election is less than two weeks in length. In 2014, Dan Vacek ran for Minnesota Attorney General as the legal marijuana now candidate and got 57,604 votes, qualifying the party to be officially recognized and to receive public funding from the state. Legal Marijuana Now Minnesota held their first convention and adopted a party constitution on November 26, 2014. Founding members Oliver Steinberg, Marty Super, and Dan Vacek comprised the organization's 2015 Leadership Council. In 2016, Michael Ford was elected chairperson of the Minnesota Legal Marijuana Now Party. The Legal Marijuana Now Party placed a candidate, Zach Phelps, on the ballot in the Minnesota State Senate District 35 special election. In February 2016, Legal Marijuana Now Minnesota nominated candidates by petition to appear on the ballot for the November 6, 2018 election. Topic. Results in Minnesota state elections <inaudible> Results in federal elections in Minnesota <inaudible> Nebraska history The Nebraska Legal Marijuana Now Party is petitioning to be recognized as a major political party. That earns candidates inclusion in the official state voters' guide. To make the ballot, Legal Marijuana Now Party must have valid signatures equal to at least 1% of the total votes cast for governor in 2014, or 5,397 signatures statewide. The party also must have a certain number of signatures from each of the state's three congressional districts. In July 2016, volunteers turned in 9,000 signatures to the Nebraska Secretary of State. However, the Secretary of State said that half of the signatures were invalid, falling short of the 5,397 needed. After failing to make it onto Nebraska ballots in 2016, party organizer Mark Elworth began circulating petitions for 2020 ballot access for a Nebraska Legal Marijuana Now party in September 2016. Elworth said the group will collect double the number of signatures they submitted in 2016, in order to ensure their success. As of September, 2017, Elworth told a television reporter that Legal Marijuana Now Party had gathered signatures of 10,000 registered Nebraska voters. <laughs> New Jersey history The New Jersey Legalize Marijuana Party was established in 1998 by Edward Forshin to protest cannabis prohibition. Fortune ran for U.S. Representative in 1998, Camden County Freeholder in 1999, New Jersey Governor in 2005, and U.S. Senator in 2006. In 2014 Don Desarn ran for U.S. Representative in New Jersey's 12th Congressional District as the legalized marijuana candidate. Fortune filed a lawsuit in an attempt to get onto the ballot in 2014 for New Jersey's 3rd Congressional District, but a judge dismissed the lawsuit. Fortune ran for U.S. Representative for New Jersey's 12th Congressional District in 2016. Topic: <inaudible> Results in New Jersey state elections. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Results in federal elections in New Jersey. Topic. 
Publications Freedom Gazette Minnesota Legal Marijuana Now Party's e-newsletter, Freedom Gazette, is published quarterly. The Freedom Gazette is currently edited by Dan Vacek. The Weed The Minnesota Weed Newsletter is produced independently by Legal Marijuana Now Party co-founder Oliver Steinberg. The Weed Newsletter was originally conceived in 1982 as a publication of the Minnesota chapter of the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws. The Weed currently is published to promote campaigns of candidates from all parties who support the rights of people who consume cannabis. Legal Marijuana Now Party in the News Miners led on Marijuana Star Tribune, November 5, 2014 Minnesota Maverick pushes legalization platform in special election high times, February 9, 2016 Scouring the nation in search of stories beyond the top ticket, Minnesota MTV, March 1, 2016 Don't like Trump or Clinton you Have Choices Pioneer Press, August 24, 2016 Marijuana Groups Already Petitioning for 2018 Ballot Lincoln Journal Star, September 14, 2016 See also Cannabis Political Parties of the United States Decriminalization of Non-Medical Cannabis in the United States Drug Policy Alliance Law Enforcement Against Prohibition Marijuana Policy Project Normal Students for Sensible Drug Policy <laughs> <laughs>